Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a Q&A of questions asked by all of you, questions asked by the subscribers. Um, I just want to say thanks for all the comments. I put up a community post um, yesterday and there's around 30 questions, I think, so I'm going to try my best to answer all of them now. So this video um, might be a bit long, but uh, bear with me and if... Um, if you have any any more questions or you want me to do this regularly then um let me know like and comment below so the first question was from disco stew one of my uh loyal subscribers you've been here a long time and he said how do you feel about the wheel of time uh books as a whole now that it's been a few months since i've finished also what was the book series that got you back in the reading a few years back um so I actually miss it. Uh, I actually really miss the series, and I really wish I could just start again. Um, I I can now that I've started to read a few more books in different genres, I can just see how amazing Robert Jordan uh, really is as an author. And um, I I would definitely say that the, the Way to Time series did help me get back into reading. It it probably got me back into reading long series. As before, I was just reading standalones and uh, uh, trilogies, nothing more than three books. So, yeah, hope that answers your question, Disco. Um, the next one is by B. May Miraki. Uh, I think I've seen you comment a few times. Um, and he's asked, um, tell us about your favourite fiction character among all the books that you've read by now. I bet this is going to be difficult to choose, just one. Have a nice day. Um, yeah, that, that's quite a difficult question. Uh, the first name that pops to mind is obviously Matt uh, from the Wheel of Time series. Uh, he was a truly amazing character to read, uh, even at the end when Brandon Sanderson was writing him. Um, and I know some people don't enjoy him as much. Uh, yeah, that, like, there's him and then Honourable Mention maybe has to go to Kavoff from Name of the Wind and then Vin from Mistborn would have to be another one and then Darrow from Red Rising and let me think maybe Glatka Glatska from uh, I don't I don't think I'm saying that right from the uh, first law trilogy he's but well, he's not really the, the nicest character um so yeah I hope that answered your question be my Meraki uh, Cloudy Sky has asked uh, as an avid reader, would you ever consider becoming an author? What kind of books do you think you would write? If so, as an inspired author myself, I'd love to know your opinion. What separates a good book series from a great book series? Cloudy Sky, that is a difficult question. Um, I don't, I don't think I have the, um, I don't think I have the, uh, how to say this? Uh, I don't think I have the engine or the the intelligence level to be an author or even a good one um but if, if i did want to write books i think i would do fantasy um as i do enjoy it or um maybe something similar to murakami where it's a bit of magic realism inside a normal world similar to our own um and what do i you know what, what my opinion what it separates a good book series from a great book series would have to be you know if i finish the first book and I'm kind of, I will read the second, but I'm not dying to pick it up straight away. Whereas if I read the first book and I set the first first book down and go, right, I need the second book right now. I need to read this book now. I need to forget about every other book that I plan to read. I want to read number two now. Uh, that would have to be it. Just being able to grip the, grip the reader with the characters and where you can see things going. Uh, I know that's not a great answer, um, but I hope I hope that was okay. Uh, Miss IU fan said, many readers highlight lines and use sticky notes in novels. If you do, what you if you do what you usually highlight. I don't know what they they but I also want to do. Uh, which books or books you read have most highlight lines? Probably the Wheel of Time series, as that series has so many great lines, so many great quotes from characters like Lan 
and we're arraigned just about how society is through those books. Um, I just use sticky notes really. Um, Fifi Outdoors has asked, how big of a fan of Twilight are you? And what are your Twilights? And what are your thoughts on Twilight? Um, don't tell, don't tell, you know, I won't tell my friends or anything like that, but I actually really enjoyed those movies. Uh, I haven't read the books, but I really, uh, I really did enjoy the movies and I've watched them, a kind of like a guilty pleasure. I've watched them a few times. Uh, if I'm traveling somewhere, like stick on a wee Twilight film. Uh, it's quite enjoyable. And you've asked, have you ever read the Fifth Wave trilogy? If so, what are your thoughts? Um, I've actually, I've read one and two, and then I've seen the film, and I haven't read book three. And you're saying here that there's a really sad ending at the end of book three, so I need to watch myself. Um, yeah, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I will give book three a go. If you, you're saying it's a, if you're saying it's a good one. Um, book Nook has asked, here's some questions. What series were you absolutely obsessed with in middle school? Uh, I was a Percy Jackson kid, lol. I was a Percy Jackson kid as well, but I, I don't know if you would know. Have you ever read, like, uh, I think it's called Gone, or... It was this series where, like, all these kids were trapped in a town uh, out in California, I think, and they all were in, they couldn't, they were, like, in a barrier, and they all started getting superpowers. And I remember reading that and absolutely loving it. And then... Oh, the names of the series are, are going out of my head. Uh, Cherub, Cherub, Cherub series. You know where all the kids are like spies and they're in like a, they're in like a camp and then they go and do missions and all. That was a great series. I, I would reread that series. Um, what book made you cry so much you never want to read it again? Um, what book made me cry so much? Um... I don't, I don't know if there's been any books that have made me cry as much. You know, the, the final Wheel of Time book was quite emotional because I read those that whole series over a year, just as you can see them in the bottom, and that was quite emotional. There's Burr Town by Frederick Bachman. That is a very tough read. Um, Tattooist of Outswitch. It's a very tough read and very, you know, it would make you quite upset by the end of it. Um, what book made me love to read? Whew. That is a tough question. What book made me love to read? I can't really remember from when I was, from a child, from a, the first books my mum ever got me were high, the Harry Potter series and they kind of, that's what kind of started this journey to where I am now. But what book recently got my, like back into doing all this would have been Mistborn, The Final Empire. That, that I read that book and I thought, I'm gonna start reading fantasy again. Um, would would you rather read or scroll on booktop tube? Um, booktube is more my cup of tea. I prefer uh, watching a booktuber kind of talk about what they've been reading in the month and uh, you know how those books made them feel. Um, am I a dog or a cat person? I'm both, as I have both. My dog's currently asleep on the on my bed as we speak. Thank you for all the questions, Book, uh, Book Nick. Those were some great questions. Same as everyone else, but those are some good ones. Um, someone that, that is someone that is this person's name, by the way, has asked, uh, first ever book you read, Harry Potter, first book. One of my all-time favourites, um, uh, Wheel of Time, book one. Uh, what got me into reading? Um, Recently, what got me into reading actually was spending less time just sitting on my phone all day and playing PlayStation. Um, reading kind of just takes you away from the screens, you know. Uh, any other hobbies apart from reading? Uh, going to the gym, um, walking my dog, um, listening to podcasts, um, cycling, um, obviously playing PlayStation and stuff. Uh, but reading's kind of the main one at the moment. Um, thank you someone, that was, oh, that was a great, great few questions. What genre, if any, do you never read in? Um, probably crime mystery, but my uncle recently, 
bought me a few books as he he really likes this um section so i'm gonna definitely get into them um a bit more romance i would like to read a bit more romance as well uh just to kind of it's change things up a bit um um what's a trope or storybook in a book what's a sto a trope or a story beat in a book that definitely makes you want to read that book um uh, as a difficult one I, I do love the trope of when like your best you're like if you've got a group of friends and uh one of the best friends like has like a whole completely different background and the main character didn't know and it makes them see their their new their best mate in a different light or maybe they stop being friends altogether um I, I do like that trope and then i do love i love a massive twist at the end of a book um or a massive conclusion cliffhanger because it just makes me want to read the next one like that um neverland's asked what's your favorite book um favorite book Favourite book at the moment? That is one difficult question. Yeah. The Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie is kind of up there at the moment, but that might be recent best. A uh, book that I might never stop recommending to my friends is Red Rising at the moment. Love that book. Made me read all the first four so far. Uh, your favourite movie or TV show adaption from a book? Uh, the Witcher. Um, Shanice is falling you vast if aliens exist and you can pick one fictional book for them to read and understand care about sympathize with humanity which novel would you pick oh that is a difficult book but there's 100 years of solitude and a lot of you probably don't know what that book might you might not know what that book is i picked that book um for many reasons as it shows 100 years of human society and the way people can act um so yeah miss iu fan you said is there any book you read because book cover was amazing um the name of the wind has an amazing cover oh well, i think so anyway and it kind of helped read that one because this is a thick boy so that was a good one uh First channel I subscribed to, which was related to novels, uh, Mike Book Reviews, uh, amazing channel. Do I make memes which you post on your channel? Some of them I do, some of them I just uh, I take off I take off Google, but I hope uh, I usually try and make sure that the person who made it is in the memes so you guys can see the at. The at. Um, my favourite mystery, thriller, horror book and your favourite pastime book. Favourite pastime would probably be The Eye of the World. I've started listening to it, it on um, uh, audio, audio just when I'm cycling or walking the dog maybe. And I'm not really focusing on what part of the story is. I just like listening to it at different parts. Um, favourite genres, fantasy, fandom edits, and favourite author. Favourite author. That is one difficult question. Fonda Lee is very good. It's not my favourite, but Fonda Lee is definitely one for the for now and for the future. That woman knows how to write a good compelling story about characters. Um Best Love Story Random Min from the Way of Time. Can any other any other I don't think it's any other better. Uh my least favourite tropes uh are these massive uh Love triangles. Uh, uh, uh. Not a fan of the love triangles. Like, I think that's been done to death now. Um, or if it's two boys jealous over one girl. I do understand why people like that. And I understand why it's popular. But I'm just... We need some, we need some new tropes. We need some new... We need, some, we need something that like, you know, grips the whole society. Like, uh, Laws is asked. I used to love reading lately. It's so difficult to read. Any tips on how to stop this, please? Um, just pick up a really short book, and then read ten pages a day, and then you'll finish it quite quickly if it's so short. And then you'll feel like you can read another book, and then just slowly do that. Uh, read something you've loved in the past as well. Um, but anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for all your questions. I hope I answered them well. And um, please like and subscribe if you're new here. I'll see you in the next one.